Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to talk about the golden ratio. And the golden ratio is denoted by phi. And phi is always equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. And now our task is to find the value of phi power 12. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And for the sake of convenience, let me go ahead and assume that x equals to phi then our this equation could be written as x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and now we are going to calculate the value of x power 12 and here's our very first step let's focus on this equation let me go ahead and write this left hand side x could be written as x divided by 1 and now let's go ahead and cross multiply so therefore this could be written as 2 times x equal to 1 plus square root of 5. And now let's go ahead and move 1 on the other side to isolate this square root of 5. So therefore square root of 5 is equal to 2x minus 1. Let's go ahead and undo this square root by taking a square on this side and on the right hand side as well. And now we can see the left hand side, the square and square root undo each other. So we got 5 equals to. And now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on the right hand side. So therefore right hand side is going to become 4x square minus 4x plus 1. Now let me go ahead and move this 4x and this 1 on the other side. As you can see in this next step when we move this negative 4x it's going to become positive 4x and this positive 1 becomes negative 1. Now let's go ahead and combine the like terms so this could be written as 4x plus 4 equal to for x square. Now we can see that this equation is divisible by 4 across the board. So I'm going to divide each and every term. So therefore our this equation could be written as x square equal to x plus 1. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 1. And now since we are interested in finding the value of x power 12, Therefore, I can uh, tweak this uh, x power 12 uh, could be written as uh, x uh, power 2 and then uh, power 6 by using this uh, well-known uh, power rule where its uh, nested exponent can be multiplied out over here. And now let's focus on this uh, x square and we know our x square equals to x plus 1 from equation 1. So therefore I'm going to replace this uh, x square by x plus 1. So therefore this could be written as uh, x plus 1 whole power 6. And now let me go ahead and tweak this one uh, once again and this could be written as uh, x plus 1 whole square and then whole power 3 by using this uh, power rule of uh, exponents. And now let's recall uh, this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus uh, b square. We are going to apply it uh, over here. So therefore this could be written as uh, x square plus uh, 2x plus uh, 1 whole power 3. And now let's focus on this uh, x square and we know x square equals to x plus 1. So therefore I'm going to replace uh, this x square by x uh, plus 1. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, x square by x plus 1 over here. Now let's go ahead and combine the like terms. So this could be written as uh, 3x plus uh, 2 whole power Three. And now let's recall the product uh, rule of exponents. We are going to apply it uh, over here. So therefore uh, this could be written as uh, 3x plus uh, 2 whole square 
times 3x plus 2. And now let's recall this famous identity once again a plus b whole square. We are going to apply it on this part over here. So therefore this could be written as 9x square plus 12x plus 4 times I'm going to write down this part as it is 3x plus 2. And now since we are running out of space so over here so therefore I wrote down this uh, x power 12 equals to this uh, right hand side uh, over here. And now let's focus on this uh, x square and we know once again x square equals to x plus 1. So therefore I am going to replace uh, this uh, x square by x uh, plus 1. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, x square by x plus 1 over here. And now let's go ahead and distribute this uh, 9. So therefore we can write this one as 9x plus 9 and then I'm going to write down this uh, 12x plus 4 and then times 3x plus 2. And now let's go ahead and combine these uh, like terms. So therefore uh, this could be written as uh, 21x plus 13 times uh, 3x plus uh, 2. And now let's go ahead and distribute this thing by doing the double uh, distribution. So therefore this could be written as uh, 63x uh, square plus uh, 42x plus 39x plus 26. And now let's combine these two like terms. And now let's focus once again on uh, x square and we know x square equals to x plus 1. So therefore I'm going to replace this uh, x square by x plus 1. As you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, x square by x plus 1 over here. And now let's go ahead and distribute uh, 63. So therefore we are going to have uh, 63x uh, plus uh, 63 plus uh, 81x uh, plus uh, 26. And now let's go ahead and combine the like uh, terms over here. So therefore this is going to be equal to 140 4x plus 89. So thus our uh, this equation becomes x power 12 equals to 144x plus 89. As you can see this uh, final equation over here. Here's our final step. Uh, let's focus on this uh, x on the right hand side and we know our x value equals to 1 plus uh, square root of 5 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace uh, this x uh, by this value. So therefore I can write uh, 144 times 1 plus uh, square root of 5 all over 2 and then uh, plus uh, 89. And now we can see this 2 and 144 reduces to 72. Now let's go ahead and distribute uh, 72 over here. So therefore uh, this could be written as uh, 72 plus uh, 72 times uh, square root of 5 plus uh, 89. So thus our x power 12 value is going to be equal to if we combine the like terms we can get uh, 161 plus 72 times uh, square root of uh, 5. But then we are interested in uh, 5 power 12 and our x uh, equals to 5. So thus our 5 power 12 value turns out to be 161 plus 72 times the square root of 5. And here's our final answer and that is approximately equal to 322. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.